sports fans and baseball fans. Today I have Back to Basics Baseball. I recently did a, uh, a package opening on this. Um, you might want to go back and check it out. I will link to that in the um, on the end card at the end of the uh, video. But uh, Back to Basics Baseball is uh, basically Back to Basics. And so we are going to uh, try a game. Now, if you know anything about Back to Basics Baseball, you know that there are no cards with the game, not even PDFs of cards. There are PDFs of player ratings. And I have converted those to cards for the purposes of this game. And uh, let's see, you can't see that yet even. All right, let's see. So here um, are my, the cards that I put on top of the teams, which today will be the 1979 Phillies visiting the 1960 Dodgers. And I have made up all of the cards based on the ratings on the PDF for the cards. You can see the 1979 Phillies uh, were 84 and 78, and the 1960 Dodgers were 82 and 72. So you got two roughly equivalent teams playing each other, which is always good. Two National League teams playing each other, again, always good. And uh, with that, we're going to get into the game. Uh, the... <coughs> The lineup for the Phillies will be Gary Maddox in center field, Pete Rose at first base, Mike Schmidt at third, Greg the Bull Luzinski in left, Bake McBride in right, Bob Boone in at catcher, Manny Trio at second, Larry Boa at short, and then Steve Carlton. Now the way I made the cards, um, when Steve Carlton, when the pitcher comes up to hit, his this is his pitcher card right here and on the back I wrote his batting card so I just have a placeholder card in the lineups um, I'll show you that right there so that I know when the pitcher is up and then we will flip over the pitching card and we'll look at his batting side when it's time for him to bat and uh, so let's see and he Steve Carlton will be pitching against Don Drysdale he will be pitching for the Dodgers, and the Dodgers lineup will be Maury Wills at shortstop, Tommy Davis in left field, Wally Moon in right, Frank Howard at first, not the Frank Howard of the White Sox, this was before he was born, Charlie Neal at second base, Duke Snyder in center, Jim Gilliam will be the third baseman. Johnny Roseboro will be uh, doing the catching and then uh, Don Drysdale and there's his pitcher's hitting placeholder card and uh, he will be the uh, he will be the pitcher today. So without any further ado let's get into this. I have not played this game. I've only read the directions. The directions look like the game should be simple enough to figure out. Um, I do have the directions handy, so when I have to consult the directions, I will. If you're a veteran of the game and you've played it, let me know what mistakes I've made. I'm sure I'm going to make some because, like I said, this is the first time I've played Back to Basics Baseball. So, without further ado, now we will get on with it. Gary Maddox is the first batter. And uh, he, uh, the pitcher is um, Drysdale, and he is a pitcher A. So there is a swing by the batter. That means we flip another card and we refer to the batter section. And he is a, Gary Maddox is a B. And with a B, you have a ground out to shortstop. So he is out. And there's one down. Pete Rose is the next batter. Uh, again, um, D Drysdale is a pitcher A, so that is a strikeout if he is an A, B, C, or D um, on a strikeout, and he is. So uh, Rose strikes out, and there are two down. And that brings up Mike Schmidt. Again, pitcher A, 
walk F. So um, if uh, oh wait if his uh, if his walk rating is an F, it's a walk. Um, so let's see. No, it's a B. So that means we go to the pit, the batter section. Flip another card, and Schmidt is a batter C, and that is a double. So Schmidt, Schmitty hits a rips a double off of uh, Drysdale, and that is going to be a hit allowed by Drysdale. That brings up Greg the Bolusinski. Again, pitcher A. And there's a walk if his walk rating is CD or F. And it is not, so we flip another card and refer to the batter section. And in the batter section, he is a batter C, and that's going to be a fly out to center field. So he flies out to center field, and the Phillies are retired in the first and so there's zero runs there and we go to the bottom of the first the first batter for the dodgers is going to be maury wills um so we picked the card um carlton is a pitcher b so that is a fly out to left field with um <clears throat> A range check so let's see fly out to left field with a range check we pick the card and uh, the range check um, let's see what was it a fly out to left field and the left fielder for the Phillies unfortunately is the bull and his range is a D so if we uh, on this card the range is D is an out so he did make the play <clears throat> so Maury Wills flies out to the bull and there's one down and we'll get him off of there Tommy Davis is up Again, um, Carlton, and he's a B. That is a ground out to first base with um, an error check. So ground out to first base with an error check. We check the error section on the next card. And um, he is, that is Pete Rose. Or no, that's... Uh, yeah, it's Pete Rose, and Pete Rose at first base for errors is um, a B, and a B is an out. So, Tommy Davis grounds out to Rose, and that brings up Wally Moon. Again, looking at the B section for... Um, the dude, and that's a ground out to shortstop. So Wally Moon grounds out. And the Dodgers go even quicker than the Phillies did in the first. And we go to the top of the second. And that brings up Bake McBride. Bake McBride is, or, uh, uh Drysdale's a pitcher A, so that is a swing. So we go to the batter section, and McBride is a batter B, and that's a fly out to left field. So McBride flies out to left, one down, brings up Bob Boone against an A pitcher. That's going to be a swing. And uh, swing on Bob Boone. He is a batter B plus, and he gets a ground out to second base with an error check. Um, let's see, ground out to second base. The second baseman is. Um, I should have put the error rate. I should have at least written in the error ratings. Um, 
The second baseman is Charlie Neal, and he is a D error. So uh, we go to the error check section, and you have an out. So he is out. Grounds out the second. Boone does. And there's two down, and Manny Trio up, batting against an A pitcher. There's a swing. You go to the swing section, and he is a batter C. And that is a ground out to third base with an error check. You look at um, the third baseman, and that's Gilliam. And Gilliam is uh, an error B at third base. So we flip another card, and error B is an out. So, um, so that was trio. Yeah, yeah, that was trio. So trio grounds out to third base, and the Phillies get nothing that inning, and we go to the bottom of the second. And that brings up Frank Howard to the plate to face. Steve Carlton, who is a B pitcher, and that is a strikeout. Uh, the next batter is Charlie Neal against a B pitcher, and that's a strikeout. So lefty strikes two guys out. Let's write that down. He's struck out two guys. And uh, by the way, Drysdale has struck out one. And then uh, that brings up uh, Duke Snyder. Yes, Duke Snyder. And uh, he's against an, a B pitcher, and that's a strikeout, and Lefty has struck out the side. Unbelievable. All right, maybe it's not unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, really, is it? No, it isn't. So we got zero, 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 and we're going to the top of the third. Top of the third with uh, the Phillies up with Boa. And he's going against an A pitcher, and that's a strikeout A or B. And his strikeout rating is a B, so it is a strikeout for Boa. And that'll be the second strikeout for Drysdale. And that brings up Steve Carlton. He's going against an A pitcher, and he has a strikeout if um, Drysdale's strikeout rating is an A. It isn't, so it's a B. So we go to the batter section, and he is a, uh, what type of batter? Probably an F, and he is. F is a ground out to shortstop. So Carlton grounds out to short. And that is two down. Bringing up Gary Maddox back to the top of the order for the Phillies. And he's going against an A pitcher, and it's a strikeout. So he strikes out. And uh, Carlton has struck out his fourth guy. And we go. We're moving right along to the bottom of the third inning. With Jim Gilliam up for the 60 Dodgers. Going against a B pitcher. That's a swing. So we'll refer to the batter section. Gilliam is a batter C. And that's going to be a short fly out to left field. So um, neither team really can get any footing here. I mean, we've got one hit in the game. Uh, against a B pitcher is uh, Roseboro, and that's going to be a swing. Roseboro is a batting F, and that's going to be a ground out to second base. Ground out to second, that's two down, and the next batter is the pitcher, who is um, Drysdale, of course. That's going to be a swing. Everybody swings. So we go to the... Uh, 
batting section for Drysdale, and he is a batter F, which is a ground out to first base. So nothing there. We go to the top of the fourth. In a 0-0 game where there's only been one hit so far and Pete Rose comes up to face Drysdale. Of course, you would expect a pitcher's duel between lefty Steve Carlton and, uh, and Don Drysdale. Pete Rose facing an A pitcher pops out to third base. So let's see, that's going to be a pop out. One down. Up steps Mike Schmidt, Michael Jack Schmidt, and he lines out to third base against an A pitcher. There's two down. And uh, the next batter is Greg the Bull Luzinski, and he grounds out to shortstop against an A pitcher. Well, they said this game was easy to play, and so far it is. I mean, I, like I said, I have, I've never played this before, and we're moving right along, and I think I'm doing everything correctly, hopefully. Uh, so, Maury Wills, we're back to the top of the order in the bottom of the fourth for the Dodgers. Against a B pitcher, he swings, and um, the B is um, a single so you got a single from Maury Wills. And he's gonna try to steal. So let's see if he gets a you gotta see if he gets a jump first. Um and he I'm sure he gets a jump. What is he? His jump rating is an A, so he does get a jump. And um And then it says go. So I, we, I think we flip another card and we look at the steal section. Um, uh, let's see. Hmm. I don't know. There we're going to have to... Uh, going to have to take a check and see what happened. Oh, wait, no, no, yeah, the steal is an A, stolen base. All right, so he did steal. All right, so, um, so Carlton gave up his first hit and then a stolen base, and now Maury Wills is at second with no outs, and Tommy Davis is up, and uh, going against... Um, a B pitcher, that's a swing. And Tommy Davis is a batter C plus. That's going to be a deep fly to right field. Um, I think the batter advances to third on that. In fact, I'm going to say he does just because in real life he probably would. So deep fly to right field for Tommy Davis. And now you got a runner at third base with um, one out. And you got Wally Moon up. I'm not going to bring the infield in because I don't even want to mess with that. I don't even know if you can do that, but I don't. I don't like doing it anyway. Um, you, against a B pitcher, you got a deep fly to right field, and that's going to score the bat. The uh, the guy. So Wally Moon is out. that is a run for the Phillies and we've got one hit on each side so I got to get that and we have a run for LA but with with two outs and Frank Howard up against the B pitcher he gets a short fly to center field and that'll be out So we have uh, 
a 1 0 lead for the 1960 Dodgers. Um, and the next up is Big McBride for the Phillies facing Don Drysdale. They have not been able to break through on him yet. And we're here in the fifth. Against an A pitcher, he walks if the um, pitcher's walk rating is C, D, or F. And it isn't. So we pick another card and refer to the uh, bat. I think we refer to the batter section on the next card. And McBride is a batter B, and that's a pop out to third base. So there's one down. Bob Boone is up against an A pitcher. He swings. The swing is, he is a B plus batter. And that is a fly out to left field. So there's two down. And then Manny Trio comes up to the plate. And he gets a, uh, a B against a an A pitcher, he swings, and he is a batter C, and that is going to be a fly out to right field. That's three out. The Phillies are retired. They get no more runs. They don't, well, they don't get any, they don't have any runs anyway. We go to the bottom of the fifth with the score 1-0, 1960 Dodgers with Charlie Neal at the plate facing lefty Steve Carlton. He's a B pitcher that's a ground out to shortstop. Ground out to short, one away. Duke Snyder is up. Mickey and the Duke. That Against a B pitcher, that's a walk. So Duke Snyder gets a walk. That's the first walk that Lefty has allowed. Got a man on. I don't think we're going to steal him. Jim Gilliam is up against a B pitcher. It's a walk if his walk rating is a B, C, D, or F. And it is. So that's another walk. And now the Dodgers have two guys on with two consecutive walks after an out. And now Lefty's in a little bit of trouble with Johnny Roseboro up. B pitcher is a walk if he's a D or an F, but he isn't. So we go to the flip a card for the batter section. Roseboro is a batter F, and that's going to be a single with two asterisks, which scores a run and puts runners at the corners. So um, that is a single and an RBI. And another run for the Dodgers, which the uh, Phillies did not need to have happen. And it's 2 nothing, and the pitcher is up, Don Drysdale. Again, I don't like um, playing the infield in. Uh, so you've got against a B pitcher, you have a strikeout if he's an A, B, C, or D on his strikeout rating. And he is, so Drysdale strikes out. And there's two down. And then that brings up Maury Wills. Maury Wills uh, against the B gets a strikeout if he's an A, B, or C, and he is. So Maury Wills strikes out. The Dodgers don't get any more than the one run, but they do get the one run. And they take a 2 nothing lead as we go to the... Top of the sixth. And uh, Larry Boa is at the plate. He's facing an A pitcher. He swings. He is a batter D. And that's a ground out to first base with an error check. First baseman. Um, error. Um, let's see. He is. That's Frank Howard. Frank Howard is. A first base F on errors and he is out so I mean and everybody was out I should have known that everybody's out on the air check anyway so 
that is going to be a ground out to first base for Boa. That brings up lefty Steve Carlton. It's only 2 nothing. I'm going to keep him in. Against an A pitcher, he swings. He is an F batter. And that's going to be a home run if he's a B home run, which I doubt he is. Um, no. Or it's going to be a, a deep fly to right field. So he flies out to right field. There is two down. And Gary Maddox is at the plate. The good thing about this is even if I'm not doing, if even if I didn't do this exactly 100% correct, I'm doing it like 98% correct. Um, he's against an A pitcher is Maddox, and that's a strikeout if he's an A, B, or a C, and he is. So Maddox strikes out. And that is it for the Phillies in the sixth. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. With the Dodgers ahead 2-0 on two hits, while the Phillies have one hit and no runs. Tommy Davis is up for the Dodgers in the bottom of the sixth. Facing lefty Steve Carlton, that's a strikeout. And that is another strikeout for Carlton. He's actually got six, and he has allowed two earned runs, and he has allowed two hits. Um, and he has struck out one, two, three, four, but allowed no... Um, all right, so anyway. So who are we on? Wally Moon. Wally Moon is up with one out. Um, Against a B pitcher, he swings. He is a batter, B plus. B plus is a pass ball if um, it's a C, D, or F. Um, so, let's see. Well, I guess it doesn't really, it really doesn't matter. So we're going to go to the next um, thing because it wouldn't have done anything anyway. There's nobody on um, so he's a B plus, and it is a pop out to second base. And that brings up Frank Howard. Against a B pitcher, he swings. On his card, he is a batter C, and that is a short fly to right field. So the Dodgers go pretty quickly there. And we go to the top of the seventh. The Phillies needing two runs very badly. They send Pete Rose up to the plate against um, uh, against uh, Drysdale. He is an A, so that's a strikeout. He just strikes Rose out. Gone. And that is another strikeout for Drysdale. So far has only allowed the one hit, I believe. To Schmidt, and that was it, yeah. Um, and speak of the devil, here's Mike Schmidt with one down. And against an A, you've got a strikeout. So he strikes out, and that's another strikeout for Don Drysdale. Sixth of the game. And the next batter swings, and that is the Boluzinski. He is a C. And that is a single. So Greg Luzinski gets the second hit off of um, Drysdale. Let's record that. And we are not, of course, going to steal um, Luzinski. But McBride steps up. And uh, against an A, that's a pop out to second. So... You had to expect a low-scoring game like this, pretty much. Um, nothing for them in the 7th. We go to the bottom of the 7th. 
Charlie Neal is up for the Dodgers. Against a B pitcher, he swings. Um, he gets a, he is a batter C, and that is going to be a strikeout if Carlton's strikeout rating is a D or an F. Um, but it isn't. So we go to another card, and he is a C, and that is a strikeout if he's an F. Um, he's not. Oh, wait a minute. It's a strikeout if the batter is a, is a C or, um, yeah. It's a strikeout if the batter is a C, D, or F. And he, and actually he is, so he struck out. So Charlie Neal struck out. One away, and that brings up the Duke, Duke Snyder. Against a B pitcher, he swings. He is a batter D, and that's going to be a single. So he gets uh, another, well, he gets on base again. Carlton gives up his third hit. There's one down with one on. Jim Gilliam is up at the plate. A B pitcher, he swings, and um, he is a batter C, and he gets a walk if the um, if he's an A, B, or a C walking, and he and he is. So Gilliam gets aboard with a walk, and now there's two guys on with only one out, and again, Carlton finds himself in a little bit of hot water. With Johnny Roseboro up at the plate. Against a B pitcher, he swings and um, he is a batter F and he walks if he's an A, B, C, or D at walking. And he is. So now the bases are loaded and um, now Lefty is in a lot of real, a real lot of trouble. And that brings up Drysdale. They're just going to bat. They'll let him bat um, against a B pitcher. It's a short fly to center field. So that'll be an out where nobody advances. And it's the second out. And the bases are still loaded for Maury Wills. Against a B pitcher, he pops out to the catcher. So they, they mounted a... Uh, possible comeback or a, well not a comeback because they're not they're ahead but they uh, they mounted a possible blowout here and it didn't happen as we go to the top of the eight the Phillies batting um, I think wasn't Bob Boone the last batter no he, he couldn't have been because there was three outs recorded so Bob Boone is up against Drysdale and now we are in Drysdale's after his inning of weakness after his endurance so um, he's given up a run no he hasn't he hasn't given up a run he's pitching a shutout so he's still an A pitcher um, Bob Boone against an A pitcher gets a walk so you got Bob Boone walking here in the eighth um, and a walk given up by Drysdale. First walk of the game for Drysdale. And that brings up Trio and against an A pitcher he swings and in his swing section he is a batter C. That's a fly out to left field. So there's one down and that brings up Larry Boa. The hothead Larry Boa against an A pitcher. He swings and he is a batter D. He gets a short fly to left field. And there are two down. And with lefty up, we are going to pinch hit. And I know just who the pinch hitter is going to be. You know me, 
you know who it's going to be. It is going to be Mr. Greg Gross. We'll be pinch hitting. So we will write in Greg Gross. And we will flip a card. For an A pitcher, he swings. And Greg Gross is a batter A+. Plus. And an A-plus gets a fly out to center field. All of that so that Greg Gross could fly out to center field. And make the final out for the Phillies, in which they allow no run, or in which no runs come across. And the new pitcher for the Phillies will be... Uh, I think we are going to go with Doug Bird. Doug Bird will come in and pitch since the Phillies are down 2-0. <coughs> uh, they still, you know, they, there's nothing to hold, so they're not going to bring in Tug McGraw. Um, Tommy Davis is the batter, I believe. Yes, he is in the 8th, in the bottom of the 8th, leading off the bottom of the 8th. And... Uh, Doug Bird is a C pitcher, so now against a C pitcher, that's a strikeout. So Tommy Davis strikes out, and we're going to put in Doug, right in Doug Bird, who strikes a batter out. Wally Moon is up. Now we're getting down to the bottom of the deck. Against a C pitcher, he swings. Wally Moon is a batter B+. Plus. He gets a ground out to third base. That's two down, and the next batter is um, Frank Howard. Against a C pitcher, he strikes out if Bird's strikeout rating is... Um, an A or a B, and it isn't, so we refer to the uh, flipper card and refer to the swing section for the batter, Frank Howard, and he is a batter C, and that is a ground out to third base. So uh, that's it. The Dodgers get nothing there, and now we go to the top of the ninth, and uh, the Phillies have to have two runs right here. They're at the top of the lineup. Drysdale is still an A pitcher because he hasn't allowed a run. And the first batter that he'll face is Gary Maddox at the top of the order. And he swings, and he is a B batter, and he gets a ground out to third base. And so we will shuffle the deck a little bit and then flip it over and the next batter is Pete Rose and he is against an A pitcher and he walks well he walks if his walk rating is an F which it probably isn't no it isn't so he does not walk we go to the swing section for Pete Rose, and he is a batter A+. Plus. And that's going to be an injury with a question mark. Um, we flip a card, we look at the injury rating, and uh, the base runner, it would be an injury to the base runner, but there is no base runner, so there is no injury. And then we flip another card and look at his batting section and he is an A plus and that is a deep fly to center field so there's two down Drysdale is two outs away from a complete game shutout but he has to face Mike Schmidt Michael Jack Schmidt that's a swing and in the swing section he is a batter C and he gets a fly out to left field and that will be the game with the Dodgers of 1960 winning 2-0 um, against the 1979 Phillies. And uh, there were no errors in the game. And three hits for L.A. 
two hits for the Phillies. Drysdale with the shutout. Lefty Steve Carlton. He pitched well, but he didn't get the win. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, signing off.